find myself in the position where the property that I'm staying in at the moment is is not really suitable for my needs. And it opens up a whole area of, of things which are, for me, very, very difficult. First of all, I need to find out how much my property is valued at. And then I need to find out what kind of bond I can gather. Because I, 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 I think my, bond, my property is probably valued at about two and a half million. But I want to buy a property of around about three to five million, somewhere in that, that area. Now, I, I have a very specific problem in that I am self-employed. So for the guys that have got uh, a monthly salary statement, that's fine. But for me, it's, it's daunting, you know. And what I'm going to have to do is, in my mind, is I'm going to have to go to from bank to bank. I'm going to have to stand in a flipping long queue and I'm going to get to the front and I'm going to have a form to fill in. I hate forms, but I'm going to have to fill in this form and then I'm going to have to take it back to the bank and then I'm going to have to, they're going to say, well, yeah, we need we need this statement and we need that accompanying document, etc. And the whole thing is so daunting to me that I don't even want to start it. And that's why we're here today, because we're here to, to see if there's an alternative to going through all that pain. So I'm meeting here with Beverly. Beverly, you're from the Bond House. Bond House, okay. So I've got this problem where um, I'm going to have to get a bond. And in my mind, what I'm thinking is that I'm going to have to go to each bank individually yes. and fill in forms. Yes. Just correct me if I'm wrong. Oh God. Oh <laughs> but God. We're going to have to go to the bank, fill in forms, and then they're going to send me away, and then they're going to ask me to come back with supporting documents. I'm going to have to go to the bank again. And if I want to get um, uh, an evaluation of what bond I'm, I'm um, uh, entitled to, mm. I would have to approach each bank individually, so I'd have to go to FNB, I'd have to go to the Standard Bank, I'd have to go to Ned Bank or whichever banks, and I'd have to go through that whole process and to to find out how much I qualify for. How much you qualify? Yeah, and I'm also self-employed, which makes it even more kind of onerous for me. Yeah. How can you help me? Okay, Steve, so first of all, what you said is quite correct in that filling out forms is, is, is a task for anyone and it, it's a big task and as you've said, you'll go and take what you think is finished and what they've asked for and I can guarantee you that there'll be something else that's required. Yeah, that's fine. Because you'll go with this and they say, oh, sorry, but we see this, so we need that. Because, <laughs> <laughs> so in, first of all, yes, the documentation part of it, there's always something else that you're going to need that, you, that they won't have told you about in the beginning because mm -hmm. every application, even for a self-employed, differs. Remember, mm -hmm. you've, got, you've got people who are contracted to someone, so they're, they're, they're under a contract. Yeah. And then you've got people that are sole proprietors, people that have a CC and people that have got a PTY. So they're all different. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the other thing about going to your own bank and one bank is that you really are limiting yourself because the banks are really out there to get the business yeah. And if you're only going to, to your bank, you're going to get offered, it might be a 90% loan, 70% loan, and it will be at this rate. Yes. You've got nothing to compare that with. No. All right. So you silly if you don't get a comparable. Yeah. And um, at the moment, there's a bit of a, obviously a bit of a war going on because the banks, they want the business and it changes. We can see the changes. So... Let's, let's put it in a bit more context. So what I do is, first of all, fill out all the documentation for you. So I don't have to do that? You don't have to do that. All right. So I would say, look, Steve, you know, we'll have a meeting. Yeah. I'll get the background on you. As right. I've just said, are you a sole proprietor? Are, yes. you, are you contracted to someone? Then I would fill out an application with you, and then we would start 
Where, gathering where would we do that at the bank? All the information. No, I would come to you. In my house. I'd come to you first of all. <laughs> or we meet somewhere. If it's yeah. not convenient to meet in your house, okay. we, ha we have a meeting point or we have a cup of coffee Meeting's at a shop. Office, yeah. All right. Uh, or an office. And, you know, we go from there. And then once I've got initial, then yes, then we do a lot of it. You know, there's, there's emailing, there's WhatsApps. But I come to you. Okay. So you don't go to the banks. Uh, no cues for you. No cues for you. All right. <laughs> Right. And and trust me, in um, an application for self-employed, yeah. there's a lot of documentation. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So also what people don't realize is that there's a lot of preparation that needs to be done before we do an application. Because there's parameters that, that the banks have guidelines for. So let me get this straight. I don't have to go to the bank. No. You come to me. We fill in the forms. Yes. We then liaise via email, etc., and get the, the nitty gritty that that we need, supporting yes. documents. Um, and you then, how many how many quotes would you get for a bond? How many? So I submit to the four major banks. Right. Then, if I can do five, so who, and I can do six, well, we go to ABSA, yeah. First National Bank, Standard, yeah. Ned Bank. Right. If I see that you fall in the par parameters, we would then we would also send it to Investec. Right. Okay, but we've also got Itala Bank. So there's many banks, okay. but so we do one submission, so one I'm set of forms, one four. <laughs> and we submit it to all the banks, yeah. and then they start coming back with their offers. Yes. And they all come in at different rates. Yes. And that's when you can start to barter. Really? So they offered one rate and I said, I knew barter. I said, well, it's, it's, it's a good rate, but it's not a great rate. So, you know, if you if you possibly getting gaining another client here, yeah. not in terms of just the bond, but you might be getting another account because of what's happened. Well, I mean, I was offered 6.9%, the current prime lending rate at the moment is 8.25. So Bev, explain to me um, the, the bond rates. Why, does, why is that important to me? What, what, what tangible benefit will I get from having a better bond rate? Well, a better bond rate, obviously the repayment's going to be less. So the repayment's less to start with. Yeah. So, and, so. and kind of how much less can we, I mean, for example, if you get 6.5 instead of 7, what, what, what sort of, on a bond repayment of, say, 20,000 a month, what, what, what will that actually mean to Well, that can, make, it can mean, mean like a thousand rand or more. Okay, so you know, so, so it's paying twenty, I'll be paying uh, yeah. eighteen and a half somewhere around there. Exactly, um, and you know, that's for the life of the bond. It's for the life of the bond, so it's years. saving you a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> but al also, um, what we do is we also negotiate because you're going to receive once, and when we do get all right, um, what we call an approved in principle, yeah. subject to the valuation of a property that you might have seen. Yeah. There's always two sets of attorneys involved. Yes. The seller's attorneys and the bond attorneys. Yeah. And you get invoices. Yeah, you me. send that invoice to me because I negotiate with them also oh. to say, look, you know, um, is this your best deal? Obviously people pay transfer duty that cannot be negotiated, that's yeah. set in stone. Yeah. But you know we can we can negotiate. Yes. You know. And what sort of saving can I possibly imagine is from going to you rather than going to the bank? I can get somebody who's actually going to negotiate that particular mm -hmm. uh, fee on my behalf. Or is it five hundred rand? Or what, what? What is? Yes. I mean, I've I mean I've I've managed to negotiate five percent lower on an invoice. You know, because when you're looking at your re when you're looking at the costs. So we say that the maximum cost, the maximum that you will pay is roughly 6% of the value of the bond. Right. All right. So, you know, so if you're looking at 60,000 Rand that you're paying, yeah. we can get that down to about possibly 54, 53. Wow. So that's quite a saving. That's nice. Yeah, that's quite a, that's quite a saving. So, I mean, it all helps. And in terms of the, the lower rate on your bond, yeah. I mean, that's huge today. 
you know, to get lower. Yes. And it stays low for the life of the, it does. Of the bond. I mean, if the rates go up and down, it goes up, but you still, it goes up, your it's starting still point is always going to be... Point, yes. I mean, you know, back in the day, we all like to look back quite a few years, one could get 2% below. Yeah. Um, we don't exactly get that much below, but I've definitely gotten one and a half below. And it all depends on each application, yes. the risk factor. Yes. Obviously, if someone's putting down a larger deposit, there's less risk to the bank. Yeah. So if there's less risk to the bank, obviously, they're going to give you a better rate. Um, you know, so, but particularly with self-employed, there's always, there's always a bit of a challenge yeah. and people need to chat, you know, well beforehand so that when we put it through, first time right, and we get an approval. So just to recap then, Beth, so I come to you, yes. we fill in the forms together, yes. uh, we do all the, the, the um, completion of, of supporting documents and things like that via email. You submit to uh, a number of banks, probably more than three. You come back with the best rates. Yes. And you also negotiate the, the lawyer's fees yes. on my behalf. Yes. Um, and all this you do from my kitchen table almost. Yes. And, um, and at no cost to you. <laughs> <laughs> no cost to you. It's, it's, what I do is is free for you. That is fantastic. No, it's brilliant. Yeah, people ask so, why. So why don't people more people come to <laughs> people like you? I think they possibly. I think the people out there think that we charge a hefty fee. Yeah. I don't think they realise, but I ultimately would get paid from the bank that actually ends up doing the bond. Yeah. So you're sort of like an outside consultant. That's all it is. Yeah. So people don't understand that there's no fee for what I do. So. That's amazing. <laughs> well, Bev, I, um, I'm blown away and there's absolutely no way I'm going to the bank. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's been fantastic. <laughs> Great. <Okay. laughs>